Hi there amigos, welcome back and I hope you found the last video very interesting of how to trim your video and import it into iMovie. In this one I'm going to show you where you can find some very useful free media assets that you can use to add to any video or any project you're working on. Here is a video project I've started. I've got the main track which is someone speaking and now I wanted to add some audio, uh, video and some images. Let's go over here to the DSC teaching and learning website. This is the design and social context teaching and learning website at RMIT. And if we go over here to resources, we have a whole bunch of very interesting resources to check out. But the ones we're going to look at today is under multimedia, sourcing images, music and video. Okay, this page will show you some very interesting information about copyright. This table is very useful. This diagram here really explains it to you. So down here we have a very extensive list of links that take you to websites that have video, images, music, all available for you to download. And you can search for what kind you would like. I can re-automate this table. So for today we would like something that is videos, public domain, creative commons. Okay, have a website in mind that I already like. Pixels is pretty handy because it has videos and images in the same place. Okay, so let's find a video that would suit this project. Okay, so this one could be good. Click on it, have a look at information, free to use, no attribution required, free download, and we want to choose or HD, full HD. Okay, so that's downloading. And let's look for a picture of a laptop. And you found an image that you like. Have a look at the information to make sure it's free to use and no attribution is required. Perfecto, that's what we're after. Let's click on free download. Ideally, you want it to match the size of the video we're working on, which is full HD. In this situation, I think we can click on large. It will start downloading down here. We also need to find some music. So let's click on music and public domain and creative commons. Okay, so I actually want to show you the YouTube audio library. You can go ahead and browse all these other areas, but this is quite cool. You do have to have a YouTube account to access this. And then it takes me to the audio library. So here we can click on what kind of music I'm after and I want attribution not required. Therefore, I don't have to attribute anyone at the end of the video or in my project. I can click on what kind of mood I might like, something that's kind of inspirational and then it will reorder all the music to fit those criteria. Okay, so having a look at this list and playing some back, Instant Crush wins the selection today. So let's download that baby. Excellent, it's downloading. We'll then place it in my audio section. Okay, so now we have chosen a video, some music, and an image. And now you know where you can source some free media footage. Keep that in mind for any project you need to work on. So in the next video, we'll show you how to import that footage into this project. CC, Creative Commons. <whistles> Attribute user if required. Ciao.